Griffin again. What's up, buddy? You are victorious. Any tips on how to maximize your practice session when you have little time to dedicate to the game? Sure. About an hour a day, for example. Thanks. All right, practice <coughs> practice sessions, maximize your time. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is not what I'm doing here, because I'm doing here to record and answer questions, right? Uh, what you're going to want to do is, first of all, let's say you're practicing because you just played online or you played against a friend, and uh, even if you won more often than you don't want, whenever you play against other people, pay attention to what's hitting you, even when you're winning, because a lot of people are just like, when I win, that's it, I don't need to get better. There's always something to learn. If you notice a specific move, you're having trouble with it, the next time you practice, focus on punishing that move, right? Focus on punishing it. If you notice that you're blocking a certain move and you're not punishing it, you're not getting the full punish, record them doing the, whatever the move is in training mode and get into the habit of building that muscle memory of punishing shit. This is why if you see me play online against other people, I, I say out loud, I could have punished that. I could have done this. I didn't do that. I only did one one two. I could have done one plus two with Kazumi or something, right? I say it out loud because I know it up here, but I don't have it in here. So that's one way. Focus your, your practicing, right? Another thing is uh, your, your own character-specific stuff. Focus on like setups. Practice setups to make the muscle memory to do them properly, right? If I'm Kazumi and I want to practice my sidestep uh, side pressure... For example, right, a big part of Kazumi is when you sidestep, you confirm a whiff down forward one, two, right? Let me give you an example right here, right? Well, no, that's not a bad idea. What if I just do a jab, jab, right? And here, I record jab, hold back. So the thing here is... Because a big part of Kazumi's pressure is uh, usually you set it up yourself. But in this case, for me to practice the confirmation, I'm setting it up with the AI. But what I would do a lot is jab or jab, jab, sidestep right, down forward one. That's a common thing, right? Jab, jab, sidestep right, down forward one. You want to get more damage if the down forward one is going to hit. You cannot visually hit confirm down forward one, two by itself. Raw, you cannot do it. You're not going to do it. What you can do is... Sidestep down forward one, I can just sidestep and swing it automatically. And if I notice that the opponent press something, finish it. Here's a way I could practice this, right? Ah, see, I was too slow there. See? I'm not particularly great at it, but I'm okay at it. I've done it online several times. Several times I've done it online. That's a Kazumi specific thing. A lot of characters use this too, but that's a very big part of Kazumi's gameplay because you want to punish them hard for whiffing off of the sidestep. So think about things like that, right? That way I'm not just doing sidestep and I think he's gonna attack, so I'm gonna commit to the down forward one too, and then they block it and I get punished. You get what I'm saying? So you wanna focus, you wanna really focus your testing Think about today. I'm gonna practice this. Oh, I've been really shitty with my throw breaks lately, right? Uh, oh, Kazumi's a bad example, but I've been really shitty with my throw breaks lately. So I'm gonna go over here, pick a character that has uh, like legit, oh, not forward one plus two, legit, legit throw breaks. Record them, make them all the same frequency, and I'm gonna sit here for like a half hour to an hour, and I'm just gonna break throws all day, right? I'm just gonna break throws all day. Um, I, ideally, you're going to want to do this with a character that has a legitimate one break, a legitimate two break, and a one plus two break. Dragonov uh, has an easy to execute one, so Dragonov is a perfect example. Sit here, practice your throw breaks, practice them on the two piece side, not just the one piece side. Everything you practice, two piece side, one piece side, split it evenly. Half hour to one piece side, half hour two piece side, if that makes it better for you, you know what I'm saying? Everything you practice, make sure to practice it on two piece side. Focus your testing on like one or two specific things. Get better at one thing, then move on to the next one. Get better at that thing. Don't practice everything in one practice session. Right? 
knock this tech. Let's see. Oh, anti knock this tech. I thought you said Antil, like the name of a player. <laughs> All right, secret consistently duck under forward two. Yeah, that's cool. So Steve's ducking low profiles under forward two. All right, so during the neutral with Steve, if you're ducking, you might go under and you you, you could be ready to float the rope. Yes, yeah, so the thing about knock this forward two is he always teleports whether it connects or not or it whips, and he always rolls. So you got to be ready to float him when that happens. The same thing happens if you're to, if you were to sidestep him. You need to be ready to float him with something. Uh, preferably something that hits low to the ground because he recovers in a roll state. So he might low profile under some mids, depending on your character. But you got to be ready to float his ass and punish him. Yeah, no problem, Big Whiff. Those are just like two examples. And I need to take my own advice sometimes because I don't. my only practicing in this game has been what you see here, these breakdowns, and then I go online. <laughs> Why does Manny suck when he goes online? That is why. It doesn't matter how much you know about the game. If you don't, you know, get into your fingers, muscle memory, it doesn't matter. And I'm a particularly slow learner, so. I'm bad at adaptation and I'm a slow learner. That's a bad combo for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for competing at a fighting game. Not that I'm competing, but if I were to compete.